Hello and welcome to day two of learning Nico from ChatGPT. So let's get started. So let's get started. Uh, so please give me day two. Wait, first of all, I'll ask for a bit of motivation of learning Nico. So hello. I am on my second day of learning uh, Nico. Code. Uh, please give me an inspirational. Just motivational paragraph for this topic. This topic. Okay, I don't know. It may give like a leak code twist. It'd be pretty funny. You're on an incredible journey, and learning leak code is one of the best investments you can make in your pro uh, problem solving skills. Each challenge you face. A step towards sharpening your mind, building resilience, and unlocking your potential as a programmer. Remember, it's not about how fast you complete a problem. It's about the underst it's about understanding the process, growing through mistakes, and discovering creative ways to solve challenges. Keep pushing forward, because every solution brings you closer to mastering not just algorithms, but the art of thinking critically. You're building something amazing, one problem at a time. Stay determined, and the results will follow. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. So let's go. When did we get to? Uh, so we did hash maps. Okay, now week four sliding window. Oh no, we didn't complete that, did we? I asked for it. Okay, so I'll go back to this. Um, so the sliding window is a powerful approach for. Solving problems that involve contiguous arrays or substrings it helps maintain. No, we did do this because this was the substring, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one then. Sliding window. So, lesson five. Okay. Okay, now please give me lesson five. Let's see, lesson five, two pointers. Uh, concept. A two po the two pointer technique is a useful and efficient approach for solving problems that involve arrays or linked lists. Uh, it works by utilizing two indices or pointers that move forwards towards each other or in the same direction, reducing the need for nested loops or improving and improving time complexity. This technique is particularly effective for problems involving pairs of elements such as finding pairs that satisfy certain conditions or manipulating arrays. Okay, key steps in two pointer technique. Initialize pointers start uh, with two pointers usually at the beginning or and end of the array or different position depending on the problem. Move pointers based on conditions depending on the problem, move one or both um, pointers inward or outward based on certain conditions. Stop when a uh, condition is met, uh, continue moving the pointers until you find the required pair, subarray, or other condition, like reaching the middle of the array. Um, an example, a uh, problem to walk through. Merge two sorted lists, in this problem we want to merge two sorted lists into a sorted array. The two-pointed technique allows us to reverse both arrays simultaneously, merging them in sorted order. Okay. So, traverse both arrays, so i equals zero, j equals zero, merged. Traverse both arrays with two pointers. If array i is less than array of two, we're going to. Uh, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, it's pretty simple though. Uh, extend, append any remaining elements from array one or array two. Because with, for instance, uh, the length of i, no, the length of the first array might be smaller than the length of the second array, so we'll need to add in all the rest of the elements from the second array. Well, all the elements that are greater than the greatest last element of which other array is smallest. Not smallest, but as the smallest uh, last element. So, given array of full inches, find all unique triplets that sum to zero. Okay, I'll have a go at this one. Um, so, three sum. Uh, three sum. Neat code. Assembly code. 
That's okay. Problem sleep code. Uh, three some. At least uh, it makes it easy to navigate through problems. Okay, so if we're using the pointer technique, how do we do this? So if I get a pen, I've got some paper. Okay, I'm just gonna think through this one bit of paper. Okay, so we've got our array of minus one, zero, one, and two. Mm -hmm. Minus one. Could we also use a hash map for this? Um, actually, yeah, I suppose we could do a hash map. So we could do hashy. I saw somebody using this today. I quite like me. So we could have as our. So the key. Key would be one number, um, then the value uh, is the offset. Value is the offset from zero. Okay, so we're going to need to go for iron nums. So hashy. If I not in hashy, hashy. We know the. Hmm. So we're gonna have the number, and then are we just going to iterate through? Mm, I don't know. Okay, let's ask ChatGPT for the solution. Please give me solution to threesome. Uh, in the future, I'll spend more time on problems, but just I'm short for time today, as it's, uh, yeah, as I am going on a plane tomorrow. So through some problem, okay. Um, given each other of array um, uh, such that I surely it's going to use a hash map, isn't it? Sort the array, okay. Uh, skipping duplicates and allows us the two pointer technique effectively. But how do you use two two pointer technique for three pointers? You need face one element, loop through the array after each element, treat it as first element of triplet, two pointer search for the remaining two elements. Uh, use two pointers, one starting. What, so is this just. We just get, but surely this is just brute force because we're going for iron range. Okay, n not two, we're skipping that now. And then we're having the pointers while well, left is less than right. Um, okay, and then we're just going to so i is plus one, and we're slowly going like that. Ah, I see it's sorted. Ah, okay. And then, oh, we're then going... Ah. Okay, then we're just moving them. Left is plus one. Right, that is minus one. So, ah, oh, like... Um, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, the... Like, subarray that we're looking at gets more and more. Um, well, left is less than right. Uh, yeah, so that's how we're going to get to the number zero, okay. Current time is less than zero. We're going to uh, increase because as it increases, um, uh, the numbers. Yeah, as we go to the for the right, the numbers increase. Otherwise, we go to the left. So uh, okay, that makes sense. So yeah. So I think yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. Goodbye. I'll come back to this in more detail tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.